Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna repair a welding inverter. A friend of mine found this welding inverter in a scrapyard and he gave it to me to fix it. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out, subscribe and support it. The first thing I found is the main switch is out of order. We'll replace it. The second thing I found is the potentiometer is broken. I will change it too. So I've removed the wires from the power switch and I'm gonna connect the wires in series with the 100 watt lamp. So I've connected the wires and there is no output. Let's see if there is any burnt component or trace. So by looking the circuit, I have found something very suspicious that there are some missing components. So here are some missing transistors. This transistor is driving the exhaust fan. And there are two more transistors. The next thing I have found is there are some missing resistors and capacitors and there is a relay. It seems like this section is a soft start. Yes, I was right. It is soft start. The missing resistors are in series with the bridge rectifier so the current will not rush. And the other missing components are a capacitor and a resistor, which is an RC delay timer. When the capacitor is fully charged, the relay turns on and the max current can go to the bridge rectifier. So let's connect all missing components and replace the broken components. So I have connected all the components. Let's test it.
as you can see it is working flawlessly so our job is done now my friend would be very happy to see this inverter